another video in this one we're going to be looking at an amazing new ai tool by adobe to enhance the audio quality of your dialogue recordings now this tool is called speech enhancement and it is free for you to use if you have a valid adobe subscription now i've been talking a lot about ai tools on this channel as it pertains to the video production industry and i want to be testing these tools because if they are a really valid tool to use in some use cases then i want to take advantage of them because ultimately anytime we can use ai to speed up our workflows or make our lives more efficient then i want to be part of that game so let's jump in right now so adobe podcast is accessible via a web browser simply follow the link in the description to this video and you'll get a window that looks a little bit like this you're simply just going to drag your mp3 or your wave files into this box click upload and then what it's going to go and do is do the ai magic in the background and then two or three minutes later depending on how big and how long your audio file is it'll just simply give you a download button so that's the tool online which you can see there and you're free to go and use it yourself but for me i really wanted to test it on real world scenarios when it comes to video production so the first recording we're going to listen to is robbo here he's one of our editors at work and he's sitting in our office now it's quite a lively noisy environment and let's take a listen to how it sounds just with the lav mic straight into the camera hello everyone this is robbo here this is a test of the lav mic for Adobe podcast in a noisy office environment. So just play that one more time. For Adobe podcast in a noisy office environment. All right, and so this yellow item here is the enhanced audio. So basically what I have done is I've created an in and out point here, and then I've gone over to the deliver page and exported audio only, and I've exported a WAV file from the in and out points and I've exported every single one of these sections individually. I've taken those sections and dragged them into this Dropbox area here and then obviously downloaded them and re-imported them back into DaVinci Resolve. So it is a bit of a workaround if you're using this tool, if you're using something like DaVinci Resolve. When I'm working, I like to stay in the box as much as possible. So over on the Fairlight page, I like to use the in-channel effects and all sorts of VST plugins and external plugins that I can drag in and work right inside DaVinci Resolve. So I don't love the fact you have to export your audio and then re-import it once it has done its magic in Adobe Enhance. However, let's listen to the result. I'll just play the end of this original audio and then it will flow into the enhanced audio. Uh, noisy office environment. Hello everyone, this is Robbo here. This is a test of the lav mic for Adobe Podcast in a noisy office environment. So that's incredible. Here's the before again for Adobe podcast in a noisy for Adobe podcast in a noisy so it's completely taken all that background noise away it's also given it some really nice EQ so it feels richer and fuller it's also taken a lot of the sibilance away and so it's sounding really really nice particularly because the environment is so noisy have Mike for Adobe podcast in a noisy office environment Let's take a look now at a cell phone recording in the same environment. This is just recorded with my Apple iPhone. This is Robo here. This is a test of the uh, audio for a uh, Adobe podcast. I'm recording through a cell phone this time, about about 30 centimeters away from my face. Hello everyone. This is Robo here. This is a test of the uh, audio for a uh, Adobe podcast. I'm recording through a cell phone this time, about about. So this is before. Podcast. I'm recording through a cell phone this time. And after. I'm recording through a cell phone this time. About about. Now you have to have good headphones to hear this, but I definitely hear that it's sounding slightly unnatural. It's sounding almost a little bit robotic, but it's really difficult to fault what it has done. Let's take a look at another example. This time it's a bit more challenging. We're in a really big office environment with lots of reverb and echo. We'll play this through. Hello everyone, this is Josh. Uh, we're in the studio this time. Uh, a lot of echo and lively sound in this space. Um, we're trying the, the recording through the lav attached to me on my neck. It would be great to see how this works through the Adobe podcast. And just to remind you, the yellow section here is the enhanced audio and the green up here on channel one is the original. So I'll play this through. It would be great to see how this works through the Adobe podcast. 
Hello everyone, this is Josh. Uh, we're in the studio this time. Uh, a lot of echo and lively sound in this space. So as you can hear, it's completely taken the echo away, taken a lot of that background noise out, and it sounds richer. It sounds like it's got a really nice EQ on it, something that I would try to do, but it's done it all automatically with this tool. Uh, this is the original again. Um, we're trying the, the recording through the lav attached to me on my neck. It would be great to see how this works through the Adobe podcast. Hello everyone, this is Josh. Uh, we're in the studio this time. Uh, a lot of echo and lively sound in this space. Uh, we're in the studio this time. And the original. Uh, we're in the studio this time. Uh, we're in the studio this time. Uh, we're in the studio this time. Uh, so it's a massive improvement. It's really good. Let's take a look at the same environment now, this time recorded with the iPhone. This time we're trying uh, recording through the iPhone. We're in a quite a lively environment still. A lot of, lot of reverb and echo and bouncing everywhere. Um, we'll see this is about a meter away from my face, this, uh, this iPhone. We'll see how it sounds when it's fixed. This time we're trying uh, recording through the iPhone. We're in a quite a lively environment still. A lot of, lot of reverb and echo. So let's listen to the end here. Um, we'll see this is about a meter away from my face, this, uh, this iPhone. We'll see how it sounds when it's fixed. In the enhanced version. Um, we'll see this is about a meter away from my face, this, uh, this iPhone. We'll see how it sounds when it's fixed. Now hopefully you can pick up on that, but this is starting to sound a little bit robotic. It's almost tried too hard to take away a lot of that reverb. So let's take a closer listen. Um, we'll see this is about a meter away from my face, this, uh, this iPhone. We'll see how it sounds when it's fixed. The only way I can describe this is it sounds staticky and it sounds a little bit uh, robotic and metallic. Um, we'll see this about a meter away from my face, this, uh, this iPhone. We'll see how it sounds when it's fixed. Considering where we've come from, it's pretty good. This is the original. Um, we'll see this about a meter away from my face. This, this is the enhanced. Um, we'll see this about a meter away from my face. This yeah, it's just a little bit metallic for my liking. It's gone too far. And unfortunately, this is the downside of using a tool like this is because you don't have the parameters to play with. So there's definitely still a need for plugins. However, the amount of time it took me to get that result was instant. I just had to simply export it, upload it to Adobe Enhance. All right, one more example. Let's take a look now at a external audio recording. And this is a busy street, which you can see here. Hi everyone, we're outside today with a Ursa test. Oh, here we go, the bus coming past. We'll see how that sounds. It's pretty loud. Oh, there's a... Let's listen to that bus sequence again. That sounds... It's pretty loud. Oh, there's a... I'm running out of words to say. This is enhanced. Pass, we'll see how that sounds. Pretty loud. Oh, there's a... I'm running out of words to say. My name's Robbo, we're outside. <laughs> so it's done a really, really good job here. It's sounding pretty natural a test oh here we go the bus coming past we'll see how that sounds now the power of enhancing your audio like this and taking away the background noise is that it gives you the ability to mix in the ambient noise from other sources if you want to for example here i've just dropped in a stereo recording of some outside pedestrians and that traffic noise and so we can add that in now to our scene when we want to and actually increase the ambience but we have full control over it. Hi everyone, we're outside today with a Ursa test. Oh, here we go, the bus coming past. We'll see how that sounds. Pretty loud. Oh, there's a, I'm running out of words to say. My name's Robbo. So let's listen to the ambience just by itself. Great. What's also great now having a really clean dialogue track is we can do things to the ambience to really help mix it in with the dialogue. For example, if we just do a little bit of a cut between two and 4K on the ambience. Test. Oh, here we go. The bus coming past. We'll see how that sounds. We can really increase that ambient level. So let's go to say five. So this will be, or minus five. This will be really loud, but you'll still be able to hear the dialogue. Hi everyone, we're outside today with a Ursa test. Also in the EQ, just after listening to this, I'll give it a low cut. Oh, here we go, the bus coming past. We'll see how that sounds. Pretty loud. Oh, there's a, I'm running out of words to say. My name's Robbo, we're outside. <laughs> hey. 
Let's listen to the difference now between the original, which is quite harsh with the background noise, and then the enhanced version with the ambient background noise added. Pretty loud. Oh, there's a. Uh, I'm running out of words to say. My name. Pretty loud. Oh, there's a. Uh, I'm running out of words to say. Pretty loud. Oh, there's a. Uh, I'm running out of words to say. My name's Robo. We're outside. <laughs> hey. Is, uh, I'm running out of words to say. My name's Robbo, we're outside. <laughs> hey! Now the point of this exercise is just to show you that now we have full control. So if we don't like the level of background noise, uh, we can taste. reduce it. Oh, here we go. The bus coming past. We'll see how that sounds. Pretty loud. Oh, there's a... Uh, I'm running out of words to say. My name's Robbo, we're outside. So there we have it. Let's look at one final example now. And I wanted to push this to the limits just to show you where this tool starts to break apart, which is really interesting because it reveals how the tool is actually being used. I feel like it is actually synthesizing the voice as well as reducing background noise. So it's not just reducing noise, reducing reverb and giving it a nice EQ. It's actually artificially creating the voice to help fill in a lot of the gaps. And you can see this here with this example. For this example, we've used the in-camera mic on the Ursa as we film this. So it's an average mic to begin with. And it's also about 10 meters away from Robo. So as you can hear, you can hardly hear his voice at all. This is Robo again. And we're really pushing the limits of this program now, right across the street with the stereo mic that uh, Ursa G2 said how well it does. I'm not sure. Lots of noisy birds and cars. Okay. Did you hear that shift? This is the enhanced version. Stereo mic that uh, Ursa G2 said how well it does. I'm not sure. Lots of noisy. Yeah, it just cracks me up every single time. He sounds like a chipmunk and it, it doesn't sound good at all. But obviously, we came from this point. This is Robo again. And we're really pushing the limits of this program now, right across the street. Well, it does. I'm not sure. Lots of noisy birds. And the fact that it can do anything is quite amazing. But this is an example of where it's just been pushed way too far. It's completely unusable for a video production situation. So I also did a couple of recordings with my iPhone doing a selfie recording in a bathroom, which is quite bright and you can hear the result here. Yeah, now in an echoey bathroom. Obviously I'm moving around and bathrooms are renowned for the terrible audio. They're obviously really bright, they're really echoey and quite a lot of reverb in the room. Again, this audio is completely rubbish in my opinion. It's all broken apart it sounds robotic sounds a little bit metallic and just not something that i'd want my audio to sound like the terrible audio they're obviously really bright they're really echoey and quite a lot of reverb in the room however what we can do with a situation like this is blend in the new enhanced audio with the original and just decrease the original audio a little bit because we still want a little bit of that presence of the space but with the enhanced audio over the top, it actually does increase the quality a little bit. So this is the original. The terrible audio. They're obviously really bright. And when really we blend it in. And quite a lot of reverb in the room. And hopefully this is a really good test of what Adobe Enhance is capable of. So I'm just going to A-B this. I'm going to start it here. So it's going to play through with just the original and then it's going to blend in the enhanced. Not too loud. Just to give the voice a little bit more presence. The terrible audio. They're obviously really bright, they're really echoey and quite a lot of reverb in the room. And hopefully this is a really good test of what Adobe Enhance is capable of. So I think this is a really good use case. You could enhance your audio and then blend it in with the original. Let's go back to this example. Pushing the limits of this program now. Right. And we'll try the exact same thing. So this is obviously the original here. Right across the street with the stereo mic. Now let's blend in the enhanced audio. Let's decrease the original audio a touch. This is Robo again. We're really pushing the limits of this program now, right across the street with the stereo mic that uh, Ursa G2 said how well it does. I'm not sure. Lots of noisy birds and cars. Well, there you go. I think that's a pretty interesting use case. I'd be interested in your thoughts, guys, what you thought of these different audio recordings. But for me, when it comes to professional commercial video production, I definitely don't want to be giving it really bad audio to begin with. I want to try and get the best audio at the source. So that means if I'm filming an interview with a lavalier mic or an overhead 
shotgun mic or a boom mic, I definitely want to get the mic as close to the source as possible to get the cleanest, crispest audio. And then when you feed it into a piece of software like Adobe Enhance, it's actually going to sweeten it and make it beautiful. I'm not going to throw away my other audio tools anytime soon, but it is really exciting to see these AI technologies doing all the heavy lifting for us. I would love to see Adobe Enhance incorporate some manual adjustments. For example, if we can pull back a little bit on the noise reduction or pull back on the amount of synthesized voice or whatever that robotic metallic tone is, if we could pull back on that and manually adjust a lot of those settings, then I think it could be a very valid tool within the video production world. And as always, this channel is here to support the video production industry. So if I come across a tool within my video production work that I genuinely think would benefit you guys, I'm going to shout it out here on this YouTube channel. If you found this video valuable, I'd love it if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and also hang out in the comment sections below. I'll be there to answer any questions. For now, peace out. We'll see you in the next one.